All right, it's Shabbat Shalom, Ms. Baka. This is Moray Medea, Yahoo Ben Yashrael. Want to welcome you to another broadcast of Living Branch Hebrew Assembly. We are so glad to have you join us, myself and my Ms. Baka. We appreciate you for joining us. And, and I tell you, it has been a good week. Uh, to, Tomio, the father, has definitely been on our side in every way. He sustained us, kept us. And tonight we're going to have prayer and prophecy. And we're more or less going to be speaking to those speaking into lives. Because I find as we continue to move forward, that more and more people need someone speaking into their life. This, the, and when I say speaking into their life, I mean speaking the words of life, the things that bring life. Because remember, in your tongue, there's the power of life and death. So we want to speak life to you, life everlasting, life that comes from the Torah. And we're thankful that we're able to just share with you. And what I'll do, I want to um, just, you know, be a, just tell you about um, just some things that happened today. Uh, and then we'll pray. Because one thing you have to know and recognize that every place you go, you have to be listening and watching. And that's how you find the lost sheep. So as I was traveling today and out doing and taking care of things uh, and going to some appointments and various other things, I had to stop by um, one of the cell phone stores. And so when I stopped, you know, I went in, I asked them if they had something. The guy said, no, we don't have it. Then another guy, um, the brother, uh, said, well, let me look. I always keep an extra one of those in my um, bag. So he was looking through his bag, you know, he was, pulling out stuff and he had stuff in his bag. He's like, oh man, this is like my mama's purse. <laughs> he had me laughing. So he th throws some stuff away. But in the process, I was paying attention. And he just so happened, I saw a glimpse of a book I recognized that talks about Tipper Tim. And it's one of the historical, you know, black books that you read. And... I asked him if he was reading that. I asked him if he heard of the 13 Lost Tribes. And we started talking, chit-chatting a little bit. He asked me, did I know uh, Maury so-and-so? I said, yes, I do. Uh, he's a very good brother. So I was telling him, you know, um, that we broadcast online and different other things. So I got grabbed a couple of bookmarkers and gave it to him. And he said, man, we'll be in touch. So... Just by having my eyes open and paying attention, I was able to witness to someone else and perhaps carry them a little further in the path than they've already been. Then I was out, um, I went by a store and someone had a, a stand up selling their books. Of course, it was Christian books. So on my way in, he asked me, um, you know, to stop by, I said, well, let, let me see you on the way out. So on the way out, I was, you know, I was looking at his books and started asking him a couple questions and told him, yeah, I, you know, had a chance to go to Israel. And then he was telling me, you know, he wanted to go in the group he wanted to go with. So I started to explain to him some of the things that he may think, he may thought had to have been true. That are not true. And I explained about the sign that says the city of David is this way and Mount Zion or Zion is this way. But if you look in scripture, it says they're the self-same place. 
So why would they have it pointing in two different directions? So he was, you know, he was open and we discussed the name Yahuwah. I told him that, you know, if he got a chance to get a King James 1611 uh, authorized Bible, and in that Bible he'll find that there is one letter he would not find in that Bible, and that was the letter J. Every J is an I. So I told him about the name Yahuwah, I told him about the name Yahusha, and you know, you're simply putting it out there. If they're sincere about learning truth and finding the Father, they'll search it out. Just like many of us had to search it out. And we found the Father. We, kept, we had sincere hearts, um, but we kept seeking. And when we heard truth, we got a little bit more and a little bit more. And before you know it, we were walking in walking in a greater portion of his truth. Now, it's not all over yet. You haven't stopped learning. You won't stop learning until the day the Father calls you to rest with the rest of the ancestors or the ancient. So we're going to be always learning and coming to the knowledge of the truth. We're not going to be those that are always learning and never come to the knowledge of the truth. But what is his truth? In Psalms, it says, thy word is true. So we know the Torah, the prophets in the writing. Those are the truths of Yahuwah Elohim. So we want to diligently inquire. Remember, keep your eyes open. Keep your ears peeled. So you don't miss the opportunities um, for witnessing. The Ruach moves you, you know, Sometimes you can't think about it. You just have to listen to the Ruach and trust the Ruach Kodesh or the set apart spirit. And you, you'll find that you're witnessing and your revelation and everything that you need to tell people where you might have been afraid. Now it seems like, wow, okay, Father. I listen to you. He put the words in my mouth and give him credit. He put those words in your mouth. Now you're, you're witnessing the people and you can see vast improvements. You know, I sit back and watch um, uh, my Isha when somebody asked about what's that on y'all on your shirts. And I listen to my Isha and, you know, after you've listened enough and heard it rehearsed, bam, you can rehearse it back yourself. And I listened to her give a wonderful discourse on the Father's name. I'm very proud of her uh, because it's all of us that have to put this out as the Father. And, you know, because you never know, you know, who you might run across and you have to give this name to him. And that's your mission, to give him the Messiah, give him the Father. And, you know... One plant, another waters, but Elohim gives the increase. So once again, I want to welcome you to Living Branch Hebrew Assembly. This is our prayer and prophecy. Our website is www.living-branch.org. And our email address, if you have a prayer request, is prayer at living-branch.org. And we're reaching out globally. And just so uh, Simeon or Simone... You know, those bookmarks are on the way. So um, everyone that has requested bookmarks, all your bookmarks are on the way. So be looking for them. And I'm looking for the Father to give you grant fantastic results. When you get them, pray over them. Ask the Father to lead you to the people that can utilize this information. And let the Father guide you through his Ruach HaKadosh. And don't be timid or ashamed or shy. Uh, you might not be able to explain everything, but when if they go to the website and and look at the and look at the video, uh, it runs down the bookmark and it'll help them to understand. So we try to put together tools that'll help assist you along the way. So let's pray, Miss Baka, Baruch Hashem Yahuwah Elohim Malik Halam, Shema Yashriel. Yahuwah Elohim, Yahuwah Ekat, Father, thank you that 
we can say here, O Israel, Yahuwah, I Elohim. Yahuwah is one. He's united. Father, we pray, hallelujah, that you would make us one. As you and the Mashiach are one and operate in unity. Father, we are praying that you would mesh our spirits with the Ruach HaKodesh. So that our witnessing will be empowered. So that we will be empowered. So that we can go out into the highways, into the hedges. And compel men to come into this kingdom. Father, we thank you. We take no credit, Father. We deserve no credit. But we're asking you, Father, hallelujah, to do this work in us. Because we know that he that has begun a good work in us shall perform it until the day of Hamashiach or the Messiah. Father, thank you for working in us. I pray, Father, that you give us courage. I pray, Father, that you cast out all fear. Let the perfect love of Yahuwah cast out all fear in us. Father, that with our reservation, we'll move forward. Hallelujah. And do your will and help those that... Uh, desire and those that are looking for truth to help them to find the truth. Now, Father, we're believing you. We're trusting you. There's none greater than you, Father. And we thank you for Yahushua HaMashiach, our Messiah, our bridegroom, prepare us for his coming so that we will be worthy when he cracks the sky and and the messengers pull us from the four winds of four corners of the earth. Now, Father, thank you. We say toda for all that you're going to do and all that you're going to show us tonight. Thank you for prophecy. In the name of Yahusha HaMashiach, Hallel to Yahuwah. Amen. All right, Miss Paka. Let's see what we're working with here. Okay. What we want to do, we want to do a little prayer tonight. We want to come back to the, the foundation of who we are and what we do. And that's prayer and prophecy. And I want to thank those that have emailed me and sent encouragement and use the offices or the callings and gifts that the Father has given you to encourage me along the way and to encourage my Miss Baca. We pray that the Father Baruch you. We pray the Father just increase your gift and give you courage and stability so that you will use your gift to his esteem. See, many of us have giftings and callings. We're called to be a prophet. We're called to be a prophetess. We're called to be which, uh, a seer, which it was called before it was a prophet. And we're called... To be dreamers, we have giftings of the Ruach HaKodesh, gift of prophecy, healing, and different the different gifts that Shaul, the Apostle Shaul, Shalak, Shaul talked about. But yet and still, we're timid in using our gifts and our callings. But I want to let you know that the gifts and calling of Elohim are without repentance. If you want your gifting or your calling or the office that you operate in to increase and be strengthened so that you have confidence, you have to use it. You cannot let it go dormant and not do or say anything. If you want it to be strengthened, you have to use it. And just know and give credit where his credit is due that it's not you. But it's the Father that's giving you these words to say. Remember how the she Mashiach, how the Messiah did? He said, these words aren't mine, but these are the words of him that sent me. And you can find that all throughout the Brit Hadashah in the, in the, four, uh, the writings of the four good news. Where he states that these words are not mine. So have confidence that if you know that the father is speaking, you know he speaks to you. Come on, you, 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 got, to, you got to confess this now. Confession is good for the soul. But let, let, me, let me go back just a step. 
Because what I want you to do is be strengthened. And sometimes to be strengthened, you've got to ask for forgiveness. Because you knew when he prompted, I feel, I feel the Ruach HaKodesh moving through my hands right now. So you might feel him in your hands uh, um, if you're out there. But, but I can feel the power of Elohim moving right now through my hands. And what I want to say to you, you have to come from a position of confession and repentance. Because when he gave you the opportunity to use your calling and he prompted you to use your calling, but you because of fear didn't, you have to ask the father for forgiveness for that. And let me just pray with you. If, if you know that's you tonight, I want to pray with you because I don't want you to miss out on what the Father has for you. Father, I'm joining forces with those, Father, that in past times might have been intimidated or might have been fearful because of the gifting. They may not have totally understood it or might not have readily recognized it. But Father, they're walking in agreement with me right now and they're asking for your forgiveness. Father, with humbleness of heart, with a broken spirit and a contrite heart, they're asking you to forgive them. So Father, they can use the gifting and they acknowledge right now, I want you to acknowledge it, that you have given them a calling of prophet, prophetess, seer, dreamer. Or you have given them through the Ruach HaKodesh the gift of prophecy. You have given them the gift of faith, the gift of healing, the gift of interpretation, the gift of tongues. You have given these gifts. And yet and still, Father, they let the pressures and the opinions of others suppress the gifting that you gave them. Father, they humbly, hush, mm, thank you, Father. Father, they humbly ask your forgiveness. And Father, I speak over them forgiveness and we're in agreement. Now, Father, cause their spirit to be lifted. Now that that, that, that has been, forgiveness has been asked and repentance is there, their heart is fixed and their mind is right. And that, that spirit, that the, the fear that the enemy had over them has been lifted off of them. Now, I pray, Father, let them go forward. Give them more prophetic in the office of prophet, in the office of prophet and prophetess or seer. Show them more dreams. Let their gifting, whether it's a gift of prophecy, gift of healing, all the giftings that Shaul let their gifting flourish now. Let them be open and receptive to what you speak and what you tell them to do. That they'll do it and do it because you told them. Now, Father, I prophesy to them. I command the wind of prophecy. These words that I have spoken to blow into their life right now. The words that I utter, let life flow through them right now. Through the Mashiach Yahusha, let the Ruach HaKodesh confirm as a witness in their spirit that the course that I have charted and prayed, that they're in agreement with and they can move forward without fear, without doubt, and they can know that you're going to use them. Because they've been asking, Father, for you to use them. Now it's time for them to step out. Not on blind faith, but step out on your word. That that which is spoken shall not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish that which you have set it out to accomplish. Now move. Hallelujah. Let it blow right now through their life. Not a blowing of destruction, but a blowing father that brings them together, brings their spirit together, that brings them in a cot with you and the Mashiach. Father, I say hallelujah for this prayer. 
I say hallelujah because you didn't have to allow this to go forward, but you put this in my spirit tonight, Father. And I, through obedience, Father, speak it. Now, Father, let testimonies come back. Let those that have heard it witness it. That you have spoken, not me. Father, I humbly submit myself. And I thank you for what you're doing. In the name of Messiah, Yahusha, Hallel to Yahuwah. Amen. Now, Ms. Bakai, if you, if you have your family there with you, whether you're um, what, whatever uh, scriptural capacity your family operates in, uh, whether it's your wife, um, you might have someone you betrothed to, or you have your children there with you, just grab them up. Just grab them up. I want to pray for your family because what the enemy desires to do he, like he told, he told Kepha or Peter that the enemy desires, this is what Messiah told him, desires to sh sift you as wheat. He don't want you to flourish. So that's why he uses things to try to throw the balance in the family off. And sometimes people miss this. In a family, there's balance. The Ish has his role and position. The Isha has her role and position. Children have their role and position. If you have other um, authorized positions that the script that are scripturally sound, all of them are to serve a purpose. So, what the enemy has to do, he tries to stir things up. To throw the balance, the unity in the family off. And we have got to strive because remember, there are only two seeds in the world. There are only two types of light. The light and darkness. Remember, you're either on one or the other. So you've got to make sure that you keep darkness out of your mispakah. And darkness can come many ways. Sometimes you think it's acceptable how darkness come in. Because that's what you're accustomed to. But see, the scripture says, I didn't say this, excuse me, but the, uh, the witness says, what fellowship has light with darkness? What fellowship with does, does righteousness have with unrighteousness? And you got to take it at his word. What, what does it have? They, have? they they have nothing for each other. Sometimes we try to make something, but really there is nothing. And we want to make sure we want to pray over your families, your mispakas, that they're strengthened, and that the light of Mashiach, because he said, now you, ye are the light of the world, will shine through you all. Father, I pray for every mispakah under the sound of my voice. I pray for my mispakah. I pray, Father, that you give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, recall, memory of scripture. So that we, Father, when we're out here, we will judge everything righteously. We will see it for what it is. Either it's in the light or it's not in the light. Either it's righteousness or not righteousness. Father, so that our misbakas will stay ikad. They will stay united. They will be balanced in you, Father. Do this, Father. Shield us. Cause us to be on one accord. Cause us to, as Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us. Help us to put the things that are first. And as Shaul said in, in Colossians, seek those things which are above where Yahusha sits on the right hand of Elohim. He's the one in power. 
Father, I pray that you let this flow through our spirits, flow through our mispakah, push all unrighteousness, push all darkness out. Help us be the shining light, a light that's not set under a bush, but set on a hill in the name of Messiah, because there should be no darkness in the kingdom. Help us, Father. Help us in the name of Messiah Yahusha. Hallel to Yahuwah. Amen. Hallelujah. So now, Ms. Baka, this is my last prayer. I already um, prayed this over someone because one of the things that hinder us seriously in the kingdom and especially among Hebrew Israelites is supporting those that are called to teach and those that are called in offices to help them to move forward and do Yahuwah's uh, will. Now, I'm not talking about those that are trying to, we, we're not talking about those that are trying to go out and buy a, a $65 million jet. <laughs> but I'm talking about those that earnestly are trying to do things for the kingdom. We have lost our sense in Israel how to support and how to be a, how to barack others that are out here doing things for the kingdom. You know, um, this week we we send out bookmarkers all across the world. Didn't ask one cent from anybody, but yet and still, postage is not free. The book not markers are not free. And so far I've had one person and Yahuwah Barak that person that has asked for bookmarkers and said, hey, well, let me give you a donation. You know, no donation is too small. No donation is too big. Whatever the father puts on your heart. We just want to make sure that when we go back to order 5,000 or 10,000, how many ever bookmarkers we want, that we have the funds that we can order these bookmarkers and give them to people to pass out. We're not making any profit off of them. And nothing's going in my pocket, as a matter of fact. You know, sometimes um, instead of the ministry doing it, I send it out with my own personal funds. So, and why? Because I'm just trying to do the will of Elohim. I want more people to learn about his name and his purpose. So, if the Father puts it on your heart, you know, to support, be a support. And just so you have an idea, this is what the bookmarkers look, look like. You know, they're a great tool. Many people have had great success using the bookmarkers. And you can see here, you have the Father's name, Yahuwah, the Messiah's name, Yahuwah. If they're interested, they will seek these names out. If, if, because this is what this is, it's just a tool. Over here, it talks about what is the will of the Father. And see, one of the things they'll learn, see, many people talk about they want to do his will, but see, when they start to go back and look at the scriptures, like right there, it tells you to go to Psalms, uh, to Helene 40, and to look at verse 8. Okay, and when you go there, it says, I delight to do thy will, O Elohim. Now listen what it says right after that. Thy law is within my heart. So his will is having the law in your heart. Doing his law. So that is what is so interesting. That is what's so interesting that when you start reading through some of these scriptures about what is the Father's will, you know, it takes them and points them right back to scripture. 
and specifically to the Torah. Because that word law, if you look it up, is Torah. So this is, you know, one of the great benefits of the Torah. And, and if you go to Proverbs 6.23, For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light. Now, remember it said, what fellowship has light with darkness? So his Torah has no fellowship with darkness. Darkness is not keeping his commandments and statutes. Now, listen what it goes on and says. And the law is a light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So this right here is just. A tool that you can utilize so if you haven't already go to the website www.bm.hebrewfoundation.org and also you can email me at bookmark at living-branch.org and we want to especially thank um, um, uh, Sharaf Will and Minister Jeanne they have been a tremendous support uh, to this ministry um, also, they've been a tremendous support teaching wise and just, you know, helping and, you know, so just thank them for not only that, they, you know, they've yielded their finances and, and I'm believing the father is going to just pour out on them greatly because of their selflessness. They, they've, um, they've definitely been. Uh, a uh, blessing or barak to this ministry. Now, here are some resources for you. You still can go to our Living Branch website. There's our HebrewFoundation.org website. There's a blog on there, East Store. The East Store is good because you can find good Hebrew study tools there. There's our YouTube channel. And also, if you get a chance, you can pop over to my um, my brother, my op. Moray Medea, uh, Moray Lama Yahoo. Uh, I help him to maintain his website, the path to Yahuwah.com. So we're very thankful for his teachings and his lesson because it's not just one person, it's all of us working together. And see, that's that's where we um, definitely have to uh, strive. It's not just one person but us working together that's why it was 12 tribes i believe it wasn't just one tribe was it, it was it wasn't just one tribe that that made it that's going to make it in there's going to be 12. and so we just you know striving to do what the father called us to do and these are just some good resources. I'm, I'm just leaving it there for a second so that you, you know, you'll have a chance uh, to, to look at it and, and see. And maybe if you want to copy some down, you'll have that chance also. So that's kind of why I pause a little bit. But I want to read this to you while, while we were, while we were, um, while you're looking at that. And it's Ephesians. The. Fourth chapter. And the seventh verse. And this is what it says. But unto every one of us. Is given favor. Or grace. According to the measure. Of the gift of. Mashiach or Messiah. Wherefore he said, when he ascendeth up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that, he's, that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens or Shamaim, that he might fulfill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists 
and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints or the set apart ones for the work of the ministry and for the edifying of the body of Messiah. Now listen to this till we all come in the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the son of Elohim unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Messiah. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Messiah, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working of the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. So, these things that are given to us, you know, prophet, teacher, evangelist, um, shepherds or pastors, and all of these are given to us for, to bring us into the unity of the faith, the faith of Torah. All of these, these are nothing new. You can find uh, apostles. Back in the, in the Tanakh, that's the Torah, the prophets, and the writings. You can find apostles. You can find pastors. You can find teachers. Um, you can find uh, evangelists. All of those can be found right over in the Torah, prophets, and writings. Nothing new. Just, be, just because it says New Testament. Well, if you look up that testament, it's talking about covenant. It's actually the renewed covenant where he renewed the Torah with us. Renewed that promise with Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, or Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. So family, be encouraged. And we just so thankful that you joined us. And I want to Sin, just be, I'm thankful for my Isha and for my girls, uh, Bina and Kiki. Uh, thankful for them. Thankful that the Father has us on a mission. And if we just ask you pray for us that we stay focused, that we would do the things that the Father pertains for, to us. Because when the Father has a mission that's great, you can guarantee the enemy is going to try to use whoever, whenever, however he can to disrupt the Father's mission. So always keep us in your prayers. And I humbly submit that you keep me in your prayers, that the Father will keep me ever before you, before him and strengthen me. Um, and that my confidence wouldn't be in myself. My confidence would be in him. I had one, one person tell me, um, it, it wasn't shocking, but, uh, because I know me, uh, the person said, you actually have a caring heart because I take the time out when people email me or ask me questions. I, I try to get them back something that will help them and to benefit them and to strengthen them. So. Um, just pray the Father would keep me with a caring heart and keep me humble. So, now if you desire to support us, and we do need your support, go to our website, www.living-branch.org, and just click on online giving, and it'll take you over where you can give. And we ask that the you give and let the Father return it unto you. So, let's pray, Miss Baca. I hope tonight was... Um, Definitely helpful and insightful. If you have any questions, by all means, uh, feel free to shoot me an email at prayer at living-branch.org. And we just pray the Father's blessings. He barack you and keep you. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahusha, 
Hamashiach. Father, I pray that you would continue to join the family together. Keep us grounded. Keep us rooted. Keep the mispakash strong. We can't do it without you, Father. We need you to strengthen us so that we can operate in our giftings and callings. Give us truth, Father. Walk us through whatever we're going through that we need truth. Show us that truth. We're confident, Father, that you will lead and guide us into all truth and righteousness. Now, Father, we barak you. We thank you. We say, Toda, we say, as the Shabbat comes in, Shabbat Shalom, the Shamaim. And we're so ever grateful for all of your blessings. Toda, Father, in the name of Messiah, Yahusha, Halel to Yahuwah. Amen. All right, Shabbat Shalom, as the Shabbat comes in, Miss Baka. Let this day of rest be a blessing unto you. And Concentrate and do the things that pertain to the kingdom and to the Father. And the Father, Yahuwah, Allahim, will barack you. Hallelujah.